Warner Brothers is trying to stir up all the good press, but they're doing a great job this new year because Warner Brothers has Paul Thomas Anderson set to direct Oscar winners Leonardo DiCaprio and Sean Penn. Ooh. That's not it. As well as Regina Hall in an untitled film that will begin production this year in California. Anderson wrote the script and he will produce it um, with Sarah Murphy and Adam Sumner. Now, the film is currently untitled, and they're keeping the log line under wraps. We have learned that it is a contemporary setting, and it's almost the most commercial one PTA has attempted with uh, the com- straight up the crazy budget. Um, it came out of a relationship that Warner Brothers Picture Group co-chair CEOs Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi built, making the PTA's latest film, uh, Licorice Pizza. Mm, while yep. they ran at MGM. That film got three Oscar nominations. Um, of course, one being for Best Picture, the others being for Best Screenplay and Best Director. Best Director. Um, while DiCaprio, Penn, and Hall are all the leads, the new film will have a big ensemble cast that is still falling into place. Mm. Now, Anderson has done ensembles in the past, notably with Boogie Nights, uh, the film that DeLuca uh, Shepard, when he headed the production at the New Line studio. The film is significant for several reasons, along with developments like the strategic alliance just formed with the story we just talked about with Tom Cruise and the projects that include the Paul Greengrass scripted directed adaptation from T.J. Newman, best-selling author, Drowning the Rescue of Flight 421, Warner Brothers and DeLuca and Abdi have the opportunity to change the narrative for the studio. Because let's admit it, like I teased a little bit earlier, <laughs> it was a rough 2023 for this studio. Uh, even as the studio finished as uh, with the top grossing film, Barbie. But other than that, that was like one of the only positive things that came out of Warner Brothers last year. So they need to flip the script. And so far... I think they're doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, maybe I'm not a fan of Zasloff, and I think he's just a complete idiot and doesn't know what he's doing. But it was, and maybe it wasn't even his idea, but somebody guided him in the right direction by hiring these two because they were successful at MGM, and they're clearly, their relationships with A-listers, they're being able to bring some in, and that's a good thing because Zasloff fucked that up, and they're fixing it. So, you know, that's, that's all I can say on that.